Okay, Dan's getting set up to gonna roll a bead in the floor pan that uh, will actually give us access to the master cylinder, which is under the floor. It's a old school master cylinder and we need to have access to it. So getting the uh, bead roller set up so that we can swing this piece of metal around. step around here so when he brings us swings us around he doesn't plug it in it's gonna be a little tricky a lot tricky because he's got to make a really sharp corners in it You can see the bead going in. It's gonna be tough because this I gotta hold the end of this up out here. Okay, you gotta go fast. Okay, swinging around. Here we go. It's a, it's a challenge. I'm just going to have to get on the other side of this thing to swing it. Got kind of a 45 in the, <clears throat> the floor pan because of the cross members coming for the floor. So we have to get by those without uh, disturbing anything here. So there it is. You can see the. Not too bad. Not too bad. Looks nice. So we're going to cut it out and then we'll give you some more video of it.
Okay, Dan cut the hole for us. Now we are using a crimping tool and we're going to crimp some nuts onto this plate uh, to the floorboard and then bolt the plate down for the um, brake master cylinder. So Dan's working with the system now. We're going to put one in and uh, We'll get back to you in video and see how this goes. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try to put a captured nut in with our crimping tool. You gotta be a beef to do it. Not for the faint of heart. Okay, so we've got a captured nut in, and uh, it's a 1024. So we're going to use some really cool button head 1024s with a Allen wrench in it. So, kind of show you what we're going to do. We've got several of them to do, so we're going to go ahead and you don't need to watch us do a bunch of them. So, that's what we're going to do. So, here's the uh the massive cylinder door that I got finished up, got the holes in it, threw a couple beads in it just to reinforce it a little bit. Um, you kind of see it. I'll flip it over here real quick. Kind of see the back side. Okay, so we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll go ahead and thread this in or screw it into the uh, floorboard and you can see how it works and where it goes. Um, and you can see the master cylinder in there. Okay, here's a hole here. And uh, you can see the master cylinder in there. Here's a brake pedal. Um, we still got to do the, the toe boards here to cover it in. And then we'll be pretty much done. So this just sits right on top here. And then we're just going to screw it down with these little Allen head bolts. They're nice round headed bolts, so you don't really, you don't really feel them underneath your carpet. Although in this particular case, I think, I think Larry's talking about not putting any carpet down and just leaving it in the raw steel look here because he really likes the bead the bead look and the raw steel look and so um, get that one started there left-handed So there you have it, one master cylinder floorboard cover.